Thank you for joining Newman's Buzz. My name is Robert Newman. I'm an online marketing specialist that uh, pays a lot of attention to the real estate niche. Tonight what I'm going to be doing is going through a very basic tutorial of Google Analytics and how it applies to real estate websites. What we're looking at tonight was we're actually looking at something that's commonly referred to as a landing page. In other words, the traffic that gets to this website is redirected someplace else. But in the meantime, we get some great statistics off the analytics that is attached to the site, and hopefully uh, we can learn something. So the first thing that you need to know is that this is the dashboard. This is the home page. So there's a number of you know pieces of information here, which uh, to somebody who's not in marketing might not make any sense or you might not understand how to interpret them. One of the things that's important to, to recognize is that the dates are changeable in analytics. You can actually go and do any particular date range from the time that analytics was installed. So in this case, we're going to leave it set at 30 days. This is very, very, I don't usually find this all that relevant. There's usually, you know, there's oftentimes in the course of your normal month, there's a lot of, you know, spikes and dips. So the time that I'm going to be using visits with this graph and have it be relevant is if I decide to change the dates and use an extremely long time period, in which case you might see an upward or downward trend. Country or territory is exactly what it sounds like. The number of visits is how many people were coming to the site from this particular area. This certainly can be relevant depending upon what kind of business you're in. If you're a local real estate agent, um, actually all of these visits can be relevant because sometimes uh, people from out of the country do end up shopping in a specific area before they come into town to look at some real estate. I think uh, one of the things that gets very interesting and that oftentimes people don't understand is visit by traffic type. So you have this 53.7.6% organic. Now what does organic mean? Organic is when you do a search such as Port Liberté, um, Jersey City. Okay, so Port Liberté is, is in Jersey City. In this case, we misspelled it slightly. We said Port Liberté, Jersey City, which is a common reference for that area. And then you see these search results. Anything that's in a shaded box is something called uh, paid results or pay-per-click, AdWords. There's a lot of different verbiage or industry lingo that refers to essentially advertising on a search page. Most of the time, these results that are on the left-hand side of the page are considered to be organic results because, in theory, websites arrive there naturally. That's why it's called organic. Referral, which is probably a little bit clearer to most people, is actually websites that refer traffic. And I will be getting back into that in a moment because there's, this site happens to have a lot of referral traffic. It's very interesting to see what a referral is. And of course, 13.47% uh, were direct visits. Now, direct just means that they either have bookmarked you or they have your domain name and they come straight to the site. An interesting thing about that statistic is over time, it should grow. If your site is highly usable, this number is actually going to eventually overtake most of the other numbers on the site. But in the case of real estate, where people are just going to do property searches, if you're not establishing any loyalty, you oftentimes find very low numbers like this because people do their searches and, and never really come back. So the last thing, and I find this extremely interesting because it is a trend uh, throughout real estate, is visits and page views by mobile. What does that mean? It means that are people on their mobile phone, how many of the visits that we are tracking for this website were done with somebody searching off a mobile phone? In this case, the answer is 117, and they viewed 194 pages which is actually very, very impressive as I'm about ready to show you uh, right now. So over here you have a, a number of different uh, options on the left hand side. So let's just say that you're done looking at your dashboard. Um, uh, the Honestly, these two I am going to leave alone. Like I said, this is a very basic tutorial tonight. We're going to go straight to um, the report. If you see up here, there's standard reporting, custom reporting. Again, we're going to leave the custom reporting tab alone. Analytics is a very robust program, and you can spend a very large amount of time, which is why I'm doing this tutorial to start with. It can be very confusing. So you go to Standard Reporting, and what this tells you is some of the some pretty basic marketing information. 
how are people using your site? In this case, like I said, it was a landing page, so you can see that people hit the home page and they leave. That's because it's the, the traffic is redirected. But let's say we want to find out, how, you know, how exactly is traffic arriving to the site? So we click traffic sources, click overview, and now we get some interesting data. We get keywords, which are the keywords that somebody used in order to find the site. You can see that 29% of this site's traffic was delivered off the keyword Port Liberté. So let's just right click that, highlight it, right click it, travel to it. And now you can see that this site is third on the organic listings. Remember, we just covered that. So tells you how 108 people ended up at the site. The same thing can be said for all these other keywords. The only thing worth pointing out, though, is that you click on full report and now you discover that there's 92 keywords that drew traffic into the website. This course can be very relevant. Right clicking and finding out where you're positioned for these keywords can be extremely useful because you can end up finding that a keyword that drove you, you know, five searches into the site, you might be very, very low on the search results, which uh, would tell you that it might be worth your time to try to spend a little bit of effort um, improving those search results. Like in this case, that landing page that we're looking at, it's not even on the first page of Google. So it's somewhere deeper in the search results and it still was getting, it's on the second page in the middle and it still managed to drive five people into the site for the last 30 days. It's pretty impressive. So now let's say uh, you wanna figure out if uh, your AdWords or let's say you are doing a little bit of paid advertising or somebody's doing it for you. You can click on paid. Google would have a way to track those visits. There is none of that happening for this site, so it's not much to say that say there. A new feature is tracking social visits. There are no social visits for the site, but if there were, when you clicked overview, it would tell you what social networks were driving traffic in and try to measure their engagement for you. It can be extremely useful if you're active on social media platforms. Um, You have a number of other drop downs and listings. And you see site speed, site search, events, AdSense, and site content. These are, in my opinion, not really basic uh, conversations to have. I think that for the most part, traffic sources is the very basic information that you need to have. Even setting up conversions is a little bit of an advanced topic. It allows you to identify goals and, and other things of that nature so that you can understand what's happening with your site. Most of the time, I'd say 99% of the time, most of my clients are pretty lucky to come in here and understand what's happening with the, with the traffic sources, which is just a matter of time. I'm full time in this business and I still don't know how to use every aspect of this tool. So it's, it's, not, uh, it's not a matter of effort, it's a matter of this is an extremely robust tool and it takes a lot of time how to learn it. I think the last thing worth mentioning is, of course, um, the audience, okay? Demographics, such as location, can be useful, especially for a real estate agent. In this case, it's just generally the United States and you see this big globe, but some of the time you can find out if, if your traffic is really locally based and oftentimes that can give a little bit of insight to a realtor that would be valuable. Um, we're out of time. I appreciate everybody stopping by my channel tonight. I hope you got something from this tutorial. Please feel free to leave me a comment at the end of the uh, video, uh, especially if you have something else you'd like to see me address. I feel this is probably a topic for more than one evening.